Hello viewers, this is Aravinder Anne Arut channel welcomes you. How are you? In this video we have to see DMK GOT that means Dravada Munetra Karakam led by MK Stalin that 93% funds from electoral bonds. The viewers are requested to kindly watch the full video for getting more information. Now we shall go to the inside of the video. Hello viewers, almost 95% of election funds gathered by Tamil Nadu's Dravada Munetra Kadagam in 2019-2020 to 2020 had come from electoral bonds. While the ruling All India Anna Dravada Munetra Kadagam AIADMK in Tamil Nadu got most of its funding through electoral trusts. The DMK collected a total of rupees 48.3 crore in the 2019-2020 to financial year out of which rupees 45.5 crore came through electoral bonds. According to a report by ET, the DMK is the only political party in the country to receive a major chunk of its funding through electoral bonds. DMK only party to get the majority of funds from electoral bonds. The electoral bond scheme introduced by the Modi government in 2018 allows citizens and the corporate houses to buy these bonds which are similar to bank notes from the SBI and donate them to a political party. The political party is then free to redeem the money which is free of interest. Meanwhile, the ruling All India Anna Dravada Munetra Kadagam in Tamil Nadu got most of its funding through electoral trust and out of the total rupees 52 crore it gathered in 2019-2020. to 2020. A majority of the money rupees 46 crore came from the Tata backed Progressive Electoral Trust while the ITC group contributed rupees 5.38 crore. In Andhra Pradesh, Chandrababu Naidu's Telugu Desam party got 2.6 crore while rupees 1 crore came from the Trimput Electoral Trust packed by the Murugappa group. The remaining amount came mostly from the real estate firms. OES Jagan Mohan Reddy's OSR Congress received 8.9 crore out of which rupees 2.5 crore came from a single infrastructure firm JSR Infra. Punjab's Shirmoni Akali Dal got 4.13 crore with a major portion of the money coming from the Prudent Electoral Trust packed by the Bharati Yartel Group. While Chirak Paswan's Lok Janasakti Party got rupees 1 crore from the Prudent Electoral Trust Janadar Dal United raised rupees 6 crore from the Samaj Electoral Trust packed by the KK Birla Group and Aristo Pharmaceuticals. The highest amount generated among the regional parties was reported by the Kerala's Indian Union Muslim League. The IUML got rupees 92.4 crore and as per the party's filing, the majority of it came from the party's district level units. Hence, ET concludes that DMK only political party to receive the major chunk of its funding through electoral bonds. Hello viewers, this information may be useful to you for knowing about like electoral bonds and other things. We shall meet once again in another video very shortly with useful information. Thank you for your watching this video.